What's up, y'all? Happy Super Wild Weekend. Welcome to the Weekend Zone. It is 2021. We made it. We had a rough week. We had a rough start, but we here. We got tons of football for you guys this weekend. We got games today and tomorrow. I am Bert Johnson. You guys can follow me on all social media at I am Bert Johnson. And of course, the lovely Jackie Ray. What's up, girl? Oh, I love that intro, Britt. Just killing it off top in 2021. I'm Jackie Ray. You can follow <laughs> me on all social media at J Ray the Fanatic. I'm so glad that we are safe and sane. I feel like that's an important thing to say because we are sane right now. <laughs> Girl, sane. I picked a heck of a month to do dry January like that. Okay. You did. Okay. <laughs> did. Well, it's stressful. I'm stressed. Stress. Yeah, you might need to switch right, up guys, in February. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we got some awesome stuff for you guys we're gonna start with honorable mentions like we always do this first one we touched on earlier in the week i hope you can watch our fumble live show because it's awesome if you don't it's an hour-long show we do monday through friday from 11 to 12 pacific standard time um and we talked about this sean payton thing jackie who had mentioned it sean payton had this idea apparently to um, get some home field advantage. You know, there there are teams that are having fans in the stands for, um, you know, this season, uh, but there's some teams that didn't. Superdome was one of those teams and um, they wanted some fans for playoffs because, you know, um, that, that Superdome gets kind of loud during, during games and they have not been able to have fans. And he decided um, on some idea that would include quarantining 50,000 people. Tell me about this, Jackie. What What is he trying to do? What is your coach trying to do? And how do you feel about it? Yes. So his bright idea was to sa safely and scientifically quarantine 50,000 people. So they would have to, uh, I don't know, like you said on the, on the live show this week, they basically have to be in house arrest and then they would test again before going into the stadium. I thought it was, I mean, it's not going to happen, but Look, who that nation would have done it for sure. These people would have taken oh, yeah. a sabbatical from work and been at home. Well, most of them are probably working from home anyway, but they probably would have just done whatever they needed to do, follow whatever protocols, and they would have gotten in there. And I get it. You know, I don't think that Chicago is going to be a huge problem for us. Um, but we know that Drew suffered with injuries this whole year. And having that, you know, those fans in the stands in the Superdome would be super helpful. So I, I'm glad that he was thinking outside the box. If we can't get it together as a country, then this might be a good idea next yeah. year. <laughs> you know, I think he, the only problem is it was too late. Like you can't do it the right. week of the game and decide. That, first of all, you got a quarantine for what? Like 14 days or 10 days beforehand. Yeah. So it was already too late. Um, but yeah, put this in, in your little Rolodex box and we'll save yeah. it because <laughs> hopefully we won't be here next year, but we could, we could, yeah, we could for know. sure. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be here today, so. Um, I didn't either. But I know, I know somebody who thought he wouldn't be in the position he is in today is Von Miller. Uh, we talked a little bit about this earlier um, in the week. Von Miller and his fian ex fiance they had a little, um, you know, falling out as, as couples do. Uh, they broke up. Um, and they broke up apparently after she found out she was pregnant. And she's got mad, I guess, that they weren't together. I don't know what happened here. I'm not in their relationship, but right. she decided to put us in their relationship and post <laughs> the stuff on social media. She posted some stuff earlier in the week and then she added, we have an update here. She posted this earlier in the week, which we covered, which um, she said, since oh, want to know, here's y'all's MVP. And then um, she said, or he said, or, she said, um, right. That's what it is. He said, she said, <laughs> this is the biggest, yes, this is the biggest mistake of my life. Please. I don't want to block you. It continues on after that. Um, she shows the baby. She posts this shows all of us this. We saw this stuff already. And then it continues on. And, um, now she's posting new ones that she had sent us. So go back to the last one. If you want to, um, Yes, this one. We'll start here. This is the new information that we got for you. So obviously, I'm not going to read all of this, 
But um, right. you guys have eyeballs. <laughs> read it. So I'm not, this isn't a sex hotline, so I ain't about to read all this. But this is one of them. And now we can go to the next one. And this is December. If you didn't see that date, that was December. So not even a month ago that this happened. And then these new ones, effing disappear and get an abortion. You're so effing whack for this. And keep an inward baby, you lame as hell for that. And then she's like, I'm beyond disappointed. You've been trying to get me pregnant for years. Cut it out. Now it's, I don't want to be with you. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to regret. And But she posted it. So I think that that's the number one right. thing you should regret. Is letting all of us know. Because we don't ask to be in your business. And I would have to cover this on the fumble. But since this is my job, here I am. Jackie, thoughts. Because I know you you have slightly a soft, soft spot for Von Miller. Um, you know, I he's do. been a Bronco forever. You're from Denver. Um, tell me mm -hmm. what you think about this. And the new updates. So, I, I you know, she, she posted more stuff, too. She posted proof of him wanting to get her pregnant by saying stuff on her Instagram and stuff like that. And here's the thing, sis. He might have wanted to get you pregnant then. That doesn't mean he likes you today. You know what I mean? People's emotions change. Feelings change. I don't know the dynamic of your relationship and you haven't really told us, you've just told us, you know, the final straw, you know, the end results of whatever you guys have gone through. And like Britt said, we don't really want to know. And Vaughn's got other fish to fry right now. Uh, the Denver Post had posted something like, it's time for them to move on from Vaughn Miller. John Elway said he was going to consider any trades. Von Miller's mom went in on John Elway saying John Elway's the problem, which she's right on that, but that's a whole nother story. Like he's got, <laughs> <laughs> he's got business things to tend to and if you guys have yeah. any chance in hell of working things out you should not have posted these these this should have been handled internally we shouldn't know anything about this so i think she might have shot herself in the foot with this one yeah girl like just make nice i i get the point she did say that one thing she said i want to say anything i'm gonna but then you then took these posts to social it. media <laughs> and let us know so that's probably the biggest thing that you should have not done um but mm -hmm. I, I don't i, I know, you know couples therapist so i think on that note we're gonna get out of the part of the show and head to athlete trash talk Jackie, what you got for us Yes, let's get into this athlete trash talk. Now, if you guys are not following on Instagram, you should be, which is at the Fumble Sports, because we talked about how Deshaun Watson has kind of went to some, some teammates and said he's thinking about requesting a trade. And then after that, we found out that part of that is because he's upset about a few decisions um, the Houston Texans have made. One being that they went ahead and hired um, ex-Patriots uh, GM Nick scenario um, they have an agreement in play um, and so according to Ian Rappaport this is pretty much a done deal and that was not the deal as Deshaun Watson understood it he understood that he was going to have a say in the hiring of the GM and the hiring of the head coach he wanted Eric Bieniemy interviewed they have not interviewed him they they have done everything they can to make sure that they don't give him a shot on the field and now they've done everything they can to make him feel like his input is not wanted. I think this is a horrible thing. I think that he's definitely going to request a trade um, because I just can't see them. Obviously, you tell him you want him to have input because you know he's unhappy with the way things are going. Uh, JJ Watt apologized to him for basically giving him this trash season, which is not JJ's fault. So obviously there's a lot of things going on over there, but this was just a bad move to me by the Texans because you had this opportunity to at least let him feel invested. Like he had some say in what's going on that might've made him want to stay. But now I think he's definitely going to re request a trade. Um, he he t tweeted this and he said, some things never change. That is a horrible tweet to see from your quarterback because <laughs> that is that is yeah. in so many words, that is in less than 150 characters. He's let you know that he is miserable <laughs> there. So. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. I, what do you think of this one? Um, so for a second, I was like, what in what world do like, say like I get to decide who are, who my boss is, you know, like this is, mm -hmm. it, it's so crazy to even have those moments in, you know, sports and, and very few athletes. Like I know your guy, LeBron James definitely gets a huge say in who his coach is going to be and who his teammates are. 
but you got to kind of cr creep up to that level. And I almost was going to be like, Deshaun ain't there. But then they released, the NFL released the um, passing leader for 2020. And guess who it is? Deshaun Watson. Deshaun without <laughs> DeAndre Hopkins. And we thought yeah. this year was going, and, and yes, the Texans did not have this like great year. And that he it probably would have been even better with DeAndre Hopkins. But he still was the passing mm -hmm. leader in the NFL this season with no receivers. We've talked about it all year. He had right. no, no receivers. You know, so to be the passing leader, yeah, what? I'm that's like, amazing. Okay, you know what? May, may, maybe you do have that pool, and maybe they should have asked you because they literally put this man in a position to fail. Lose their old their right. old GM did. You know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Bill put him in a position to fail by getting rid of DeAndre Hopkins and by literally just to get getting like three running backs on the team when he's like hello uh, you guys right. just paid me this money now you don't you don't want me to play really you what's happening pass? here like right. yeah. you just gave me a bunch of running backs and what am i supposed to do with that mm -hmm. and he was still able to get some stuff done and still played the game he very rarely complained this season compared to what we see with Jaden and the other situation happening in Houston mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and he, mm -hmm. he, he dealt with what he could and made, made it work so you should have at least because the guy from what I'm hearing the guy that um Deshaun Watson had wanted they didn't even interview that guy at least yeah. give him the, the interview GM or the head that's coach. all I'm saying yeah yeah neither not the GM not them. the head coach Terrible, terrible. So uh, I think in the coming weeks, we'll be talking about um, Deshaun adamantly requesting a trade. But this next trash talk, um, I think, is hilarious because Nick Saban's daughter, Kristen, has decided to kind of kind of get a little sideways in her thinking. And uh, Cardell Jones had to come for her in, in a perfect response. So let's get her tweet up there because she started it. Let me just say that right now. She started it. She said, started um, it. if you're not... Right, <laughs> like I'm a kid. Um, if you're not confident to play, then say it. I call BS on the COVID cases. They're just worried about their QB and want him to have more time to heal. If he's hurt, put in your backup. You don't. Um, you didn't see us postpone the rest of the season to wait um, for Waylon. Bye. So look, that's cute and everything, but first of all, don't don't pretend that COVID's not real because we out here in California can tell you, as a matter of fact, that it's very very real and it's a problem. Yeah. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, uh, Cardell Jones, he he clapped back at her and he he had to, he didn't give enough detail in it though. He says, you sure you want to face another backup from OSU? You know what happened last time, right? I don't think she does. Cause I think if she knew she wouldn't have said this, but back in 2014, um, when Cardell took over as Ohio State's quarterback after uh, JT Barrett got injured, he went yeah. on to win, like, what, the next three straight games, love? So are you sure it's a backup you want to see? He's trying to tell you either right. way you was going to get that, you know. So she, right. you know, Nick Saban better I start sharing some history with his kids. <laughs> right. I love this because that was actually the year of the first college football playoffs in Ohio State mm -hmm. did win that one. Um, they won the championship that year, and – this is the first time they're playing in that championship game against Alabama since then. And I, I mean, you want that smoke? You, if you want us to bring the backup in, we could do that well, because we Ohio State, <laughs> Ohio State, first of all, is better known for their defense than anything else. But like right. uh, Justin Fields is a soldier. I would love to see him obviously play in that game, but if he it is hurt and you guys want him to heal a little bit longer like i remember him obviously we all saw him get injured at the end towards the end of that game last um week but in right. that situation he played the whole rest of the game like he if he needed yep. to play he's gonna play regardless he's not, not like this little pup he clearly saw that in that moment so mm -hmm. and you're this, just this this is a say, say less, less moment Can we not say less yeah say less you, you don't even know We're I don't know what you're you probably was. said during the last game, okay. whatever. Yeah, it's I don't know fine. what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> probably still in a high chair or something. You don't remember. It's not your fault. We're right. not going to hold it against you. But, but stay less <laughs> next time. <laughs> 
Exactly. All right. Is Carol it has me. Games on Monday. Games on Monday. Let's yep. go, Buckeyes. <laughs> I can't, can't wait. All right. I think that's time. Do you think we got some some good claps to start off 2021, or do you? What's your prediction? Because I know you haven't seen these my yet. What's your prediction? My prediction is they're. I mean, y'all had a lot of time to come up with stuff, so they should be good. We had two weeks off, so we, mm-hmm. we should have some good archived ones ready for us. So, Cross, I think yeah. it's gonna be good. I, I, I'm, I'm, no, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a golf clap. Polite, okay. Clap. We're being polite. Yeah, okay. Not, okay. Yeah. All right. So. This first one is off the um, Jalen Hurts one. I think this one is yours, Britt. And it says this Definitely. lady's voice it's is annoying so annoying. Voice. Definitely me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, get, I get man voice. You get annoying. <laughs> I don't understand you know, why people think I have a man voice, but okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. You know, whatever. You guys are still <laughs> watching it. I don't care. You, you. I was not annoyed enough for you to not like to sign out right away. You still wanted to like type while you were watching it's fine you know like and i and i I posted something like not too long ago and it was like talking about this guy this husband was talking about his wife and how terrible her singing voice is and how it sounds like cats you know just scratching on a chalkboard but he was like but i just love her so i would never tell her not to sing because it makes her happy so that's how i'm gonna this year i'm gonna make you love me so much that you don't care that my voice is annoying there you That's go, Britt. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> Britt has always hated on Steph. Makes sense though, because Steph has absolutely wrecked the Clippers for years. Don't be a hater, dear. It's not cute. I don't hate on Steph. Like I like Steph Curry, right. and in that moment, I liked Steph Curry, and I said, "This is his moment to shut everybody up." Like. I, and I said, and I think he can do it. So I don't know what you're talking mm-hmm. about. I hate it. I think they have selective hearing. You guys care what you want to hear. Some of you guys mute my voice entirely. And some of you guys just take little pieces of what I say. Because I guess you don't like my annoying voice. So you pull certain words out. I don't know. But, but like, I didn't say that. Like, I actually like that. And I like him as a player. And I wasn't hating on him even in that moment. I said... He has a moment now where he can shut everybody up, and I think he's going to do that. Jackie, you were there. You remember. I was there. Was I, I remember. Myself? I was there. You were not. You you said that this, exactly what you just said. You said this is his time. So, yeah, this is just a hater. It's just a hater. Oh. <laughs> like, we stop. Should change it. stop being title readers. Right. In 2021, that was my New Year's resolution for y'all. Stop being title readers. Yes. That's what y'all did. Yes. Or, has right. having selective hearing as well. Please. There you go. You. Listen to the whole damn video. All right, we'll see what we got next. What's up next? Um, Steph Curry Savage response to Damian Lillard. This one says, yo, these fumble thumbnails be hard clickbait. Look, let me tell y'all this something. This is for Leo. <laughs> this, this, yeah, this is for Leo, but let me tell y'all something. As a person who has her own YouTube page, don't hate on the clickbait. Because that you can have the best content in the world, but if you don't post something that's a little crazy in the title, ain't nobody yeah. gonna come watch it. So I'm all True. for clickbait. Y'all gonna have to just live with that clickbait that it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. True, true, true that. But that one, that was for Leo. That's Leo's first clapback, I think. Yep. That's yep. his first. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This one um, Draymond Green, Clay, Demonish or demolish, demolish, I can't read half of it. Trump writers, <laughs> what a joke channel has become. These basketball, first of all, basketball is one right. word, players <laughs> don't matter. I guess they don't matter so much that like you are watching, this is a sports channel, my guy. Like, oh my God. What are you talking about? Don't come to a sports I channel have- and say basketball, basketball players, players don't matter. matter. <laughs> I have one rule. One rule, if you are going to try to drag somebody, you must be grammatically correct. One rule. If you just yeah. ranting and going on, but but if you're trying to, cause now I can drag you on your stupidity. I don't even have to address what you said. I can say, you right. know what? You need to go back to first grade here and learn that, that basket so and ball can be two things, but when it's played, it's basketball. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, that's all Woo! we got for comment classic though, but you guys tried it. It's it's early in the year. I have faith in y'all. Y'all will get better as the year goes on. I believe it. You tried it. You tried it. All right, before we get out of here, like I said at the beginning of the show, it is Super Elf Card Weekend. This is the NFL is doing something new. They added two more teams to this wild card mm-hmm. thing. So now going to the next week, we still have, you know, the teams that got their bye, but now we have three games that are happening today and what two tomorrow or vice versa one of the one of the yeah. case but we got two new teams that have been added that get an entity a chance to possibly make it to these playoffs um so there's an extra game that we got to do so um i am actually going to choose this um washington football team and tampa bay bucks game because again y'all know i am an ohio state fan and chase young made a specific request that he wanted to see Tom Brady. There he is, my guy right there. That was actually like the moment he said it. He was like, I want Tom Brady. I'm coming for Tom Brady. Well, this is your opportunity, Chase Young, to end your rookie season with a bang. Hopefully this isn't the end for you, or hopefully, I don't know, because I actually really hate him as a Cowboys fan. I do not like the NFC East, but as just a human being, I don't like Tom Brady, so. You guys both bleed it out, you know? I want to see a full on back to, like, I want y'all fighting. I want all the crazy mm-hmm. madness just because I don't like y'all both so much. But I want to see, I want a low scoring game. I want high defense, high intensity. That's what I want to see this weekend from this game. And I think it's good. Hopefully, um, uh, Chase Young had seven and a half sacks this season. Hopefully, he gets a sack against Tom Brady just to complete his rookie year. I'm excited for this game. What you got, Jackie? We actually picked the exact same game. So we're going to start off this 2021 Ooh. in total agreement. Yes. I, I, I picked it for the exact same reason. Um, Tom Brady tried to do the kind of gentleman response to Chase Young. He was like, you know, I don't take anything of it. I feel like it's because of the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry. I think he's a really good player and I want him to do well in the future. This is coming from the same guy who won't shake hands when he loses. So if they can go out there and get this win, I just want to see if he still has that whole gentleman attitude at that point. And let's not forget uh, Britain, you know this too. The last time an NFC East team knocked off Tom Brady, it was in the Super Bowl. It was a seven and nine team, just like Washington is. It was the New York yep. Giants. So this is this. Look, I am not. I hate Washington with all that is within me. I haven't been able to reconcile my disdain for Tom Brady. So unfortunately, in this one, I'm going for Washington. I need y'all to hand it to Tom Brady once again. Do I think they do? Will do it realistically? Uh, probably not. But. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going for him anyway. <laughs> well, since we both picked the same game, a quick little honorable mention game, that is going to be the Seahawks and Rams game for sure. I think that game is going to be really, really good as well. Um, because they're both. this is both NFC West, and they have fought it out all season. The NFC West, I said at the beginning of the year, was the most difficult, One going to be one of the most difficult divisions. They proved that. Literally, this whole division was in the running the whole entire season, pretty much, except for obviously the 49ers. Um, but they weren't trailing too far behind. But I think this game's going to be like bloody crazy game as well. So um, I'm excited to see that one as well. But that is it. We got some football to watch today. We got some more football to watch tomorrow. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you guys next week on the Weekend Zone. Peace out. Bye. 2020. We can